here, baby. Come here, baby. Meet Skipper and Tipper, or as Raccoon Valley Sanctuary volunteers call them, the bag kittens. That's because they should have died in this meow mix sack. It was gruesome. It was quite gruesome because the other kittens, there was a litter of four or five. She couldn't really tell if there were two or three, but they were, they had been run over by the vehicle. So it was not a pretty sight. Tipper and Skipper were sealed into the bag, dumped on a road and crushed by oncoming traffic. It's a miracle they survived the experience. But that's not the end of the story. This is Reagan. He found the bag, dragged it all the way home to his owner, and whined until she opened it. The instincts of the dog was to nurture, not kill, because the blood, some dogs would have responded to the scent. Reagan, the dog's a hero. Reagan's owner could hear Tipper and Skipper's faint cries from inside the bag, but she was totally unprepared for what she found when she opened it. When she reached in, the horror of um, these kittens covered in blood and guts, you know, quickly revealed that there was more that didn't make it. The kittens were so weak they had to be fed with a bottle every two hours. Linda Blakely fostered Skipper and Tipper, who were traumatized by the experience. She wasn't sure they would live through the first few days. Whether them being dumped out was an act of cruelty or desperation, we will never know. Um, but we want people to know there's better ways. Three months later, and Skipper and Tipper look like normal, healthy kittens. It's all thanks to a loving pooch and the kindness of a few animal lovers. Our slogan is, we're living proof. There is a better way. These guys are testament to it. I'm Molly Carlson, Channel 13 News.